hey guys welcome back to my channel this is happy word in this video you're going to learn how to make this beautiful sequence fascinated or molded from a dinner plate this is not just a dinner plate like um, two plates joined together so if you want to learn how i achieve this shape you know the shape is not common if you want to learn how i achieve it kindly watch this video till the end without skipping or fast forwarding okay and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel so that you can be receiving more creative video from us and turn on the post notification okay so that you can get notified anytime we upload new videos i don't want to waste much of our time let's just plunge into the business of today i know you are excited okay, let's get started see, this is what we need i molded it already so i used my um paper mat to mold it so it wasn't enough you can see it's having some uh, opening here but it's fine because i'm definitely going to cover it so i'll just go ahead now and remove the pegs thereafter i will add my wire this is not millinery wire this is uh, aluminium conductor the one i usually use because the place i am right now is very difficult for me to get aluminium conductor um millinery wire sorry so this is what i've been using and it's been working for me so far so though it will only be um okay for this kind of heart like molded heart if you want to make fascinator we use net i'm i'm sure that it's not going to work out very it will not be that curvy because you know it's kind of stiff anyway you fold it so it remains there so that's why it will not be available to use it for that but for things like this maybe crown and stuff like this you can gladly use this one so i'll go ahead and remove the pegs now see my original mode if you've been following my videos you will know that i don't use woody mode i use um breakable plate mode so it's been working for me so far you can see the shape very strong and firm so I'll go ahead um trim off the rough edges and slot in these. You can see it's the same size, so I'm just gonna slot it in, then trim off the rough edges. Thereafter, I'll sew it. So it's inside. I'll just uh, trim off the rough edges right now then stitch it though i'm going to cover it okay i'm going to cover with another fabric because it's not going to remain like this so you just stay tuned while i quickly sew the essence of sewing this one first before adding the other one because i wouldn't want the stitches to show up because i don't have a matching thread i'm using gold so that's why i want to stitch here first before adding the fabric i want to put on top of it so just um let me do it off camera and get back to us okay you can see i'm done with it i stitched it so i just uh, slightly cover this place okay so i'm going to use this sequence to cover it uh, remember as usual i'm just going to add my glue at this edge edges round then i'll place my sequence for underneath it like so and just um, cover it i believe we all know how to do this right so let me quickly add the glue So after adding the glue like so, just allow it dry a little bit, a little bit, then in order not to waste my fabric, I'm just going to push it to the edge and pull it like this and hold it right there with my pegs. It's better you use peg as you see so that it can help you hold it properly. I will also start by using it in the four cardinal points so that everything will align. Okay. You can see it. It's looking beautiful already. So I'll go ahead and just cut this part of it out. I'm not going to sew it because I already stitched the inner one. So 
the only thing I'm, I'm going to do is to use my bias to cover these uh, rough edges so for sewing no I'm done with sewing so here is it okay I'm just gonna leave the pegs in it like this so that it can still make it firm for me so I'll go ahead to the next stage you, ha you all know this right this is a uh, boning so I'm going to use this sequence to cover it and get back to us okay just uh, a little wrapping not much I'm going to cut it in a way that it can go round it without giving me any stress so let's say I'll cut out um, a single line from this one this piece I have So something like this is what I'm going to use. So first of all, I'm going to add my glue at this edge, like so, just a little. Then I'll place this over it like this and try to turn it around it so that it can be firm. So as you are doing that, make sure you hold it so that the glue can stick to it. So you see, I'm placing my hand right over there and turning it around. So this is how I'm going to continue. I'm not going to add the glue everywhere. Okay, after a while, I'll add a little glue. Okay, just so it can hold it in places. So it's not compulsory to add glue everywhere. Okay, here is it. So I'm going to go ahead now and just band it. I'm not going to do it the normal way. We usually do it like this. Okay, so I want a change. So what I'm going to do now, I want to make sure I fold it in a way. Just watch me. I'll fold it like this. Uh, in form of infinity. Then I'll tie it. After tying, I'm going to... Keep folding like that till like so still. So just watch because I really cannot explain how the folding is going to be. So this is it. Make sure it's not round like this. If it's round, it's going to form as if it's covering. So I'm just kind of push it like this to form like um like a, a bow or will I say like an arc? I don't even know how to put it anyway. Like a semicircle. Okay. So let's um go now so after folding it like this i'm going to go ahead and just tie uh if you like you can also add glue before tying um i think that will, will also help you so in this case you use candle glue so candle glue just place it like that and tie be careful at this time because it's very hot it, it just burned me right now so i'm going to tie like this tie it firmly So, this um, tine is what is going to hold it in place. So, you have to make sure that the tine is firm. So, after tying it like this, I'm going to knot it so that it's not losing. Knot it about twice. Then, you continue like that. So... Here is what we have now. You can see, even though I release my hand, it's not going to um, change or shift. So I'll fold the other one. So just watch the way I am doing it. After I form this side, I'll form the opposite direction. So in order for it to be easy for you, you just take it and place it over it. Like so. Like so, if you put it under, it's going to be twisting. Just make sure it rests over it like this. So it's going to make sure uh, your work is easy. The thread is tying because of the sequence. So I'm just going to work my way around it and pull it out gently so that it doesn't cut. So here's what I have. I'm just going to look for a place that is not so neat and place it over it. Okay, maybe I'm going to use this place. So 
what I'm also, also thinking of doing, apart from this, maybe I'll add a little more embellishment. I don't want um, too much design, but you see that this black is showing. So what I'm going to do right now to cover this black, I will just use a, cut a little piece of this sequence to cover it so that that part will not be showing. Okay, so that nobody knows what happened there. So I will do it as if I'm using it to, to wrap it. I'll add my glue, my candle glue. both up and down go ahead and remove the pegs from this one it's already firm enough so i think you don't need any more anything to make it firm you can see the way it's relaxing by itself so after removing it like this i'll go ahead and use uh, my bias strip to cover it we already know how to do that so i'm going to do that off camera okay just like this I will add my glue and cover it like this round so that's what i'm going to do then i will also add my hairband um before then uh the end any other embellishment i want to add to it i will um, just add it at the sides okay so what i'm actually thinking of doing is to leave this one alone like this boys like it's looking too simple and i will need um a, a something to support it okay something to support it so maybe i will add some feathers or i will just uh, make a little more embellishment to add to it so that it will not look um, too plain okay something like this so let me quickly um figure something so and I was get back to, to use uh, the this is a satin fabric like doll face so i just use it to cover my um has tail Heart stay that has stay I usually use. You, if you've been following my videos, you know that I always make use of heart stay for my design. So I just cut out uh, uh, about uh, I think it should be about two inches. Okay, about two inches is what I cut out. So and the length that is the width and the length is about seven and a half inches. Okay, so. I just um, overlap it and add my glue. I ironed it on it, so I'm just going to add my glue right now here to join both ends together like this. Okay, so this is what I want, like a bow. I'm going to add them as part of my embellishment. So let me do that to all of them and place them here then i'll place this one on top of them so i already glued them together right now so i'll just add some more glue like so i'm going to stitch it a little bit okay because uh, only this cannot hold it just place it like so i'm actually thinking of not putting the last one here like so so i'm not going to add the last one so these are okay so i'll add my glue on this and also stick it right there then i'll sew all of them together okay so this is how it's going to be so this is it I'll go ahead right now and just start stitch it a little bit just to hold it together with it look at the inner parts very neat so just one last thing i want to show you guys how i made these ruffles okay so that just so i cut out a, a, a straight piece like this just short you can use any length then i just start um, picking it from one angle picking it like this going in and out in and out in and out then when i go to the edge or the end of the line i simply tie it so that's all there's no big deal about that it looks so beautiful that's why i decided to show it to you guys this particular um ruffles i added at the last part of it so like this then pull it out 
then just tie it you can tie it like this or you go round over it again the second time but i don't have enough uh, thread with me now so i'll just go ahead and tie it like this thereafter i'll cut it out you can see the way it is then i simply added glue at this edge and just stick it right there this time around is your uh, candle glue that you're going to make use of because that is going to stick very fast so you see here it's a little bit vacant so that's why i decided to add the last one here and that's all we are done with it simple but classy please if you have not for um subscribed to this channel you're not helping us remember you're not paying for subscribing subscribing is absolutely free of charge please subscribe and share this video with your friends and family so they can learn this creative design wow it looks so beautiful you can see this is another method or another way of using your boning instead of uh the one we usually do okay it's so beautiful i'm going to put it on right now so you can see yeah you can see how beautiful it looks on me the color is something else it looks so amazing cool color golden color is always very beautiful you can see uh the new method or the new style of not using the boning the way we usually do so this is a new method and it looks so amazing nice you can see my dance step right <laughs> so beautiful please feel free to subscribe to this channel okay and again please uh i have a facebook page called um every word every word one do well to follow us and in that page we um upload only music you know music is a food for the soul please follow that page god bless you and help me to share the video as well this is beautiful go ahead and do something like this for yourself you can see the sequence i use in making it looks so beautiful stay tuned for more videos till i come your way again next time i remain happy with bye